fourth graders and welcome back. I'm Mrs. Lamondo here with our grammar mini lesson. So let's get started. Today we're talking about compound and complex sentences. Uh, this may sound a little bit tricky, but once we really see the difference between the two, I think you'll easily be able to tell. A compound sentence contains two simple sentences joined by a comma and a connecting word. The example would be, my mother went out and I was home alone. If we take that sentence apart, my mother went out could be a sentence. I was home alone could be a sentence. It's compound because it's one sentences that has like two little sentences in it. A complex sentence contains a simple sentence combined with a group of words that cannot stand on their own. So an example would be, when my mother was out, I was home alone. It's complex because if we break it apart, when my mother was out is not a sentence. So again, compound means it has like two little sentences in it. Complex means it does not. So let's check out a fun little video about compound sentences. <laughs> Sentence types, a la schmuck. It would be pretty boring if sentences only came in a single flavor. Aw, man. Vanilla's fine, but who wants a world without chocolate? Or even green tea ice cream? Yuck. Hey, some people like it. Mm -hmm. There are three basic types of sentences. First, the simple sentence, a.k.a. the independent clause. You can also think of it as a complete thought. So long as it's got a subject and a verb, you're all set. The other two types use different helper words to connect clauses. Did somebody say clause? Compound sentences have two independent clauses connected with a helper word, such as and, nor, or so. And finally, complex sentences really live up to their name. They have an independent clause plus one or more dependent clauses which can't stand alone as complete thoughts. So they're connected via a helper word, such as although, when, or which. Now let's translate all this into English. Here's the simplest of simple sentences. A simple sentence is solid. It stands on its own. Oh, this? No. Don't even need it. That's why it's also known as an independent clause. Like our friend over here, it stands on two legs, a subject, and a verb. Got that? But a simple sentence doesn't have to be quite so simple. Hey you, get back here. It can have a compound subject, that is, multiple subjects, like Mike and Bobby are caught by the police. Or a compound verb. Mike goes home and loses his art supplies. In a compound sentence, you've got one sentence, but two independent clauses joined by a fanboy's coordinator. All right, let him in. And by fanboys, we mean for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Ooh. These fanboys are just dying to get between two independent clauses. Back it up. Usually preceded by a comma. For example, Bobby failed miserably to impress Lisa Yet, he kept trying to impress Megan, too. Aw, heck no. And then there's the complex sentences. That is, an independent clause joined to one or more dependent clauses. All right, that's it. Handcuffs, seriously? They're joined by either a subordinator, such as because, after, although, or when, or a relative pronoun, like that, who, or which. For example, Mike took down his shrine to Susie, which took over a month to make. And one with two dependent clauses. Here we go. Although Susie thought Mike was sort of cute, she preferred someone who didn't literally worship her. Well, hello there. 
So there are three sentence types, simple, compound, and complex. A simple sentence is an independent clause with at least one subject and verb. A compound sentence is two independent clauses joined together by fanboys. And a complex sentence is one independent clause plus one or more dependent clauses joined by a subordinator or relative pronoun. Again? Really? Just remember that there's always got to be at least one independent clause in each sentence because somebody's got to stay independent here. That video went in over three different sentence types, but we're going to stick with complex, which means it cannot be broken into two sentences and compound, which means it can. So let's take a look. Number one, when I turned the corner, a, I heard a strange noise. Can that be broken into two sentences? When I turned the corner, can that be a sentence? I heard a strange noise, can that be a sentence? This one is complex because when I turned a corner is not a sentence. Number two, the noise grew louder and I was scared. Can that be broken into two smaller sentences? Yes, it can. The noise grew louder is a sentence. I was scared is a sentence. It is compound. Number three, before I knew it, I was running. Can that be broken into two sentences? No, it cannot. Before I knew it is not a sentence. That sentence is complex. Number four, I saw a police car and I told the officer what I had heard. Can that be broken into two sentences? Yes, it can. I saw a police car is a sentence. I told the officer what I had heard is a sentence. That is a compound sentence. Number five, when we saw the garbage truck, we both laughed. Can that be broken into two sentences? No, it cannot. When we saw the garbage truck is not a sentence. So it is complex. Today on your Google form, you'll be completing grammar lesson number five. Of course, you're gonna put your name. Now remember, if you can break that sentence into two complete sentences, it is compound, okay? So they finished practice early and they went for ice cream. Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it is compound. If not, it's complex. Your mom cleaned your room while you were out. Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it's compound. If not, it's complex. They practice yoga and they like to meditate. Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it's compound. If not, it's complex. After the end of the movie, Juliet wanted more popcorn. Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it's compound. If not, it's complex. I would love to help, but I have work to do. Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it's compound. If not, it's complex. Before you answer the door, look who is through the window. Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it's compound. If not, it's complex. Do you want an ice cream sundae or do you prefer some cake? Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it's compound. If not, it's complex. Phil has studied hard because the test is tomorrow. Can that be broken into two sentences? If so, it's compound. If not, it's complex. All right, fourth graders, that's all for our grammar lesson today. Until I see you next time, bye.